Hi Stamping Friends, I'm Karina with KarinasCreation.com and today I want to show you this cute little this cute little card I made for my downline to invite them to our next Coffee Talk meeting on October the 4th. But it was, I was going to hand cut the edge and then someone mentioned to me that you can punch it. So I'm hoping that by sharing this quick little tip with you, you'll make a lot of these super cute cards. Now it uses the embossing folder called Modern Mosaic. And it also uses the stamp set called Papillon Popori and the matching butterfly, bitty butterfly punch, which are on sale right now for 15% off. And then it also uses a fun stamp called, set called Label Something. And Label Something has a matching punch for every, um, every image in the stamp set. And it ha has a matching hex hexagon punch with this one. And here is the Label Something stamp set so that you can see the different images that you get with it. Okay, I'll show you quickly how to make this cute card. Okay, step one, I took um, Daffodil Delight cardstock and just folded it in half. And then I took Whisper White cardstock that is cut at four and a quarter, sorry, it's cut at four inches by five and a quarter. And I'm just putting it in the embossing folder, in the Modern Mosaic embossing folder. And then I will run it through the big shot machine. I'm not sure if you can see this or not, but I'll give it a try. Look at my nice new cutting plates. Gotta love that. I have ones just for embossing now. Yay. And then this is all I do is I take it out of the embossing folder. And then I take the mosaic punch and I just line it up in the folder. It's kind of hard to see with white. You'll just have to trust me when you try it. And I'm punching it upside down because that way I can actually get the punch lined up nicely. And I would say 90% of the time I use my punches like this, upside down. Now if I can just get this in, oops. There we go. I'll get this lined up, give it a quick punch. And then this side, give it a quick punch. And then I'm just going to take my paper snips. If you don't have paper snips, these are fantastic scissors. And once you use them, you'll want your own pair. And that's it. Isn't that really, really cute? Then what I'm going to do is take some Bermuda Bay cardstock. And it is cut at two and a quarter inches by four inches, but you don't have to use that much. It can actually be a bit smaller. I was just generous in case I didn't cut my whisper white piece, punch it out properly. And then I just layer it on. And you'll notice I'm using mono multi glue. I do love snail too. Today I'm using mono multi glue. It's a bit stickier and I find it just holds down your embossed pieces a little bit better. The only trouble is, is it comes out really quick. You just need to have a really light touch with this and it's very sticky. But it's great for holding down pieces that require a little more adhesive. And then I just layer that onto my project. And look, there's the card base. Isn't that cute and quick? Okay, and like I said, I will take my label something punch or stamp that I've already punched out and I'm going to take a dimensional which I just have to locate. Here they are. Okay, and I'm going to put a dimensional in the back, peel it off, pop it on and we'll put it right about there. And then I've taken the small butterfly image from the stamp set and put it on my clear glass block and I'll just show you. I'm using the Melon Mambo stamp pad and when you hold your stamp pad sideways, there's three dots at the bottom and when you put your thumb on it and give it a push, it pops up. Then when you lift up the lid and fold it over, it clicks into place. So I'm just going to put that on my Melon Mambo scrap piece. And again, what I do is I punch them upside down using the Bitty Butterfly Punch. So I think I want four butterflies. I've got two already stamped in Daffodil Delight with Daffodil Delight ink. I'm just doing tone on tone color for my stamping today. And then Bermuda Bay 
is going to be my fourth butterfly. And I put these on the card with dimensionals because I really want them to stick. But you'll notice that the little dimensionals are a little bit too big. So all I did was cut them in half. And then, one, two, three, four, I can just put them nicely on my butterflies. And we'll be popping that on. So this is a really cute quick card. Like I said, the Butterfly Papillon Popori stamp set is on sale along with the punch this month. I don't even know where I put these from the original card, but it doesn't really matter. The card looks so cute, you can just stick them anywhere. Yeah, I think this guy goes here. And then another thing I really like is to add a little bit of bling to my card. It just adds so much. So. The easiest way to do it is to take your um, paper piercing tool, or if you don't have a paper piercing tool, use this, the tip of your scissors, and then it makes it a lot easier to transfer the rhinestones onto the butterfly. Scissors are a bit trickier, but they do work as well. Again, like I said, paper piercing tool I find works the best. Or if your nails work too, then that's even better. Okay, and that's it. So that's how you make a super quick card. And I hope you like the edge border because I think this would make a really cute Christmas card too. Happy stamping.